Well, everyone, it looks like there might be some other small little tiny issues within iOS 17.7.1. Now, overall, this update has been pretty solid. I haven't really had too many complaints on my personal iPhones of running iOS 17.7.1. The only issue I've personally had, and I don't know why this happened, but randomly my auto screen lock, like my rotation in a way, like when you're trying to rotate your display, that toggled on and off randomly at one point. It's never happened before. It could also have been a random glitch of it being my pocket and accidentally, you know, changed. I have no idea. But that was just one thing that I personally noticed. It's never happened any year before. So that was an interesting thing I experienced. For the most part though, it looks like the only issue people are really having, if it's not installing iOS 17.7.1, it might be a small little glitch or small little issue here and there. So I do want to say for the most part, it looks to me for the most part that iOS 17.7.1 is a very, very stable version of software. And the only complaints I've been personally able to see is the issues that people are describing beyond the just installing iOS 17.7.1. Now, one issue that I did kind of have before on iOS 17.7 was actually downgrading from iOS 18 to 17.7. There was a time Apple basically unassigned, you know, iOS 17.7, so you couldn't even downgrade from iOS 18 to 17.7, you know, just like a, a month ago. But now with 17.7.1 out, we're now able to downgrade back to iOS 17, which is also a very important thing. So if you were having issues before of downgrading down to you know back down to iOS 17 you now can go back from iOS 18 down back to iOS 17 if you want to not too sure how long this is going to last but you do have that type of capability as of this point beyond that I'm checking on reddit I'm checking my comment sections there doesn't really seem to be any other prolonged big issue that is specific to iOS 17.7.1 seems to me that the issues that we've had before are still there like you know some you know small little issues like with Apple music and stuff it looks like uh, those issues are still there for the most part but I will say lots of improvements there's a lot of stability Ability that's been added within iOS 17 so far and I would still say 17.7.1 is more stable than iOS 18 and even the speed that I'm getting on this version of software like the performance levels I'm getting is actually very very good I'm actually very happy with the way my iPhone has been performing on these versions of software so far so from that side that kind of covers it up here for the most part if you have any other thoughts or questions please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.